I'm coming. Don't knock over your cherry aid. Oh my god, it's full. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm, you're making me nervous. I'm fine. Georgia, don't look at me. I'm stressed. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. I like them. Are they really an oily one? Oh, did you? I don't like the oily ones. I'm Dill. And I'm G. And you better welcome back to our YouTube channel. Where today we are eating food and playing. A game. N. Joy. Joy. What's <laughs> <laughs> <I was> that? Like... <laughs> Open. Why did you think I wrote the letter N? Yeah. <laughs> Open up. Breakups are important. Okay. Oh, that cherry. That's all we needed to know. Isn't it so refreshing? <sighs> I just like what was that? <laughs> so we are playing the breakup edition of We're Not Really Strangers. Um, and we're just going to play while we eat. So you better like this video and subscribe. I guess. You said it as a question. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe? <laughs> I mean, if you want. It's your choice. What feels unique about this heartbreak, if anything? Wait, we not... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we... Did, what about a time that you were heartbroken? Like, the last time you were heartbroken. How many times did you say you have been heartbroken? Um... I don't even know. Because there have been times where I thought I was heartbroken. But then looking back, I'm like, I don't think I was. But also the pain sort of like fades, doesn't it? Yeah, so I guess in the moment I was. Yeah. I think the only time I've been actually like heartbroken is when my granddad died. But that's like a different mm. different type of heartbreak. Like it was, what was the question? What? <laughs> <laughs> what feels unique about this heartbreak, if anything? Oh. Nothing really. It was. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was unique because I thought I'd given him a lot in the relationship and he thought that I hadn't given him anything. But he was a knobhead in a way. Yeah, for reasons. I think that's why I was annoyed more than anything because I was like, but I've tried and you didn't. So. There we go. That's the thesis. Were you lying to yourself about anything during your last relationship? If so, what was it? I'll tell you what I was lying about. <laughs> Can you tell you it's a bit fresh? <laughs> it's almost been two, well, it's been a year and a half, and I'm still like a bit angry, which is normal. But it was your first yeah. actual relationship. Well, your first relationship, really. Yeah, it was. So it's I... going to stay fresh for a while. Yeah. Unfortunately. And it was the circumstances as well, like, you know, Benny just stopped speaking to him. It's only been a month. Yeah. Um, anyway, I was lying to myself by saying to myself that um, when I would panic that he was going to, I don't know, like, get off with someone else, mm. who he actually did end up getting off with, mm. I'd say to myself that it was like, a, oh, it's just like a, he wouldn't do it, but I don't trust her. But really, it was a. Uh, I I was like gaslighting myself because the distrust was coming from somewhere, and it was partly mm -hmm. my own insecurity at the time, but also it was like. I don't trust him, and I think I lied to myself about how much I trusted him. And I don't think it helped that we moved in like together straight away, so like well, it was very. You don't want to believe that you don't trust the person that you're with, so you're gonna put that into your head mm -hmm. because. 
Well, also, you did also have other people around you, including me, saying, oh, he'd never do that. Yeah. But if I told you, yes, he's going to. Yeah. I don't think it would have helped the situation. Or maybe it would have. Well, the thing is, you didn't know. And I know that if no. you did have an inkling, you'd have said something because you're like that. You know what I mean? If I, if I and like ever I would... had an inkling that he had done something, I would have told you straight away. That's what I mean. And that's but, why, like, I was so shocked. And I think anybody good, was shocked. He was good at what he was doing. Yeah. Because he managed to fool everyone. Not just you. Mm. So there you go. Well, I think he tried to fool himself. Mm. What is your heart telling you? <laughs> and what is your mind telling you? Right now? No, go on. My heart is telling me... In the back relationship... Uh, or life. What do you know? What whatever you want, whatever like, you want. My heart is telling me that um, I'm content at the moment. Oh. With how things are. Okay. But my mind is telling no, it's the other way around. My mind is telling me that I'm content with the way things are right now, like in my life. But my heart is telling me that I need to like. Get a wriggle on. In what regard? Like relationship or like? Just like in general. Like everything. Like I think, I don't know, like I'm ha proud of myself for having like the job that I have. Yeah. But I feel like I need to be better. Hmm. Like do something more. Like actually do the job that I trained to do. Well. Rather than like, you got to start somewhere. Exactly. And I think you're doing amazing. I get, I get really, that. really bad imposter syndrome in a way. So even if I was like actually a teacher, I think I'd be like, well, I don't deserve to be here because I, I barely pass. But I didn't barely pass. It's just, it's all like in my head. And I'll be thinking like, like with Jordan, like I'm happy where things are now, but I want to go to the next level. I want to have a house. I want to do this and this and this, but I feel like I'm stuck. Mm. Right here, which is no fault of anyone's. Like, it's me. You've got to have money to do things. Mm. I'm enjoying this. This is so mm. nice. It's like therapy. I've needed this, Georgian. Thank you for suggesting this. You're welcome. What was the biggest turning point in your dating life? That's a broad question. I actually think it happened really recently. So, meeting Ben. <coughs> the couple. <coughs> Can I say that? Meeting this lovely man. <laughs> you can cut out names. Okay, I'll, I'll bark over them. But make sure you bark loud enough yeah. to actually I'll, put the name out. I'll lower the name. Yeah. Because <laughs> usually I just bark. You just it? bark and you can still <laughs> hear <you're> it. <laughs> okay, so I met someone. So mm. just second time. Um, And he was in an open relationship. And we engaged in shenanigans whilst he was in an open relationship. <laughs> mm. And then now that he's no longer with that person, me and him are still together, but like there's no, it's not exclusive. Like we can go off with whoever we want. And I actually like that because I think when I was with my partner, it was, I think I put a lot of emphasis on the don't go off with anybody. Like mm -hmm. don't, I think I got very trapped in it. And I understand why a lot of but people. He was like that as well though. So it wasn't just. It wasn't you. helping. Do you know no. what I mean? And I think, especially because that was my first relationship, that's all I knew. Mm. So I think getting away from that and seeing a whole other sort of viewpoint on relationships and sort of, well, you know, I have that person that I go to. Mm. Pardon me, but not saying that. But, it's, <coughs> but then like we can go off with other people. It's very nice to know that you're in the comfort of that. And I quite like that because um, I was saying... In the relationship, looking back on it, I think I felt a bit restricted <clears throat> because yeah. I don't know. It's a very weird one, but I think that's probably the turning point. Realizing that maybe monogamy isn't for me, mm. and maybe having less emphasis on me and you—that's it forever. But I, I think, like that. I think in your circumstance with your re first relationship. It was very different because it was like sort of it wasn't like a um i don't know how to put it without being rude oh 
<clears throat> it was sort of like controlled. Yeah, it was. Like you weren't allowed to look at anyone. Like controlling yeah. in that way. Like... You were monogamous in a controlling environment. Mm. So it wasn't like you were monogamous because you wanted to be. You were monogamous because you were like forced into that. Mm -hmm. Which I think is why now. Oh, I got like the other end of the. You're open. You're allowed that fluidity to do like what you want and experience different people and maybe one day if you did meet someone and you thought i don't want to be i don't want to get with anyone else yeah and it'll be because you're not controlled into it it's because like that's just how you feel i love you I you're love so you. lovely i love this <laughs> oh i've missed this Oh I don't talk to people like this every day. Me neither. We used to do this a lot when we lived together. <laughs> every like every night till midnight. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Significant other aside, when you visualise coming home to a life you love, what does that look like? Get specific. Oh, I nice love question. this question because I good think one. about this a lot. I like a knit. <laughs> What's that? I've got a knit on my coat. <laughs> gobble, gobble, honey. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Oh well, I've had it now. I'm a celeb. What was it? I feel like it might have been Chip. I feel like it was a flower. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate a flower. Uh, I want to be comfortable financial wise. I don't want to be rich. I don't want to have too much of anything. Um, I just want to be able to not have to worry about where my next like mortgage payment is coming from. You want to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. Um, I want to come home to a happy environment where the atmosphere when you walk into the house is a warm one and you want to stay and have a job that I enjoy and a dog and maybe a cat. Oh, you want to get both? And a ferret. <laughs> I really want a ferret called Alan. I love that. I've always wanted a ferret called Alan because when they run, it's really funny. They run in a hoop. Like, they go like this and they run sideways. What, ferrets? Yeah. Really? Have you seen a ferret run? It's so funny. Okay. But I think we should go on Insta Live and just carry on doing what we're doing. And I'm if anybody wants we? to see it, I think we should do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that. And me. You know, that was really healthy. I really enjoyed I... <laughs> not the food, but no, the mental that's health. Inside. I feel like that was really nice of you to suggest that. So thank you. You're welcome. I thought we needed a little chat. I, I looked. You know me. <laughs> no, I'm so you're, so, <laughs> you're so naughty. But you're good for me. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. oh. This is what healthy looks like. I'm a, it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird being like Ooh. healthy. <laughs> well, until the next time, Dylan Jugans. Is that what they call? I don't know. <laughs> you like a, can we call them the adipose? Is that copyrighted? No, because adipose just means fat cell. So you can't actually copy. Oh, that. our little fat cells. Come on, then, little adipose fat cells. Ah. Just because I looked behind you and I was like, they're cute. Yeah. And that's what I imagine our fans would look like. Adipose. <laughs> we are for an audience of adipose. We are. Until the next time, adipose. My little chin. fat cells. <laughs> 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 <laughs>